So there have been times where I've kind of shifted timelines or jumped into different realities it seems and I want to talk about my experiences in this video because it's kind of strange and before I you know really get into this I want to make it very clear that I don't know all the answers I don't know exactly how or why any of this stuff happens or works and I'm just kind of experiencing and exploring this much the same as you are you know I'm just kind of researching myself as well and all I can do is share my experiences and how it feels same with lucid dreaming same with anything really I mean no one's re no one can really call themselves a master of something really because there's always more to learn there's always more thing there are always more aspects to things you know deeper levels that you could go to that being said here's my experiences with like timeline shifts or jumps or thing when when reality doesn't quite feel completely normal so i'll explain what i mean let's just get into it by the way subscribe if you like this stuff and leave a comment also letting me know your experiences i will try and read them out actually so one experience that i have fairly often we, we're all familiar with things like deja vu where you feel like you've been in this situation before it feels familiar even though it's not familiar there's no way you could possibly have been in that exact moment before and yet when you're in the moment you simply know that you've been here before this is it feels the same as a memory and sometimes you can even remember what's about to happen in a deja vu experience so and i've had this a couple of times as well and it's not with profound things i can't control when it happens but there have been many times where i've had a deja vu and i've thought oh yeah this this happened before and what's going to happen next is this and it'll be some mundane detail right something completely irrelevant that it doesn't really it doesn't really matter whether it, whether i got it right or not so it's not like you can predict the lottery or do anything really crazy with this stuff but it's just interesting it would be like an example would be let's say uh, i had deja vu walking down the street and i said to the person i'm with I'm, i said oh i've been here before this is deja vu so what's going to happen next is there'll be a green car that will come from that street and it'll go over there and then it will like beep its horn for example something like mundane doesn't really matter if it happens or not but it, it but it does happen and that's the interesting point is that sometimes my my deja vu experiences obviously i have them quite often and then i'll remember some detail of something that's about to happen something that's not happened yet i say the detail or think the detail so i don't always say it out loud or sometimes i'm on my own so i wouldn't say it anyway and then that thing that i remembered happening before it happened actually happens very trippy very unusual and uh, the only explanation i can think of from the research i've done so far is that it's some kind of quantum echo because in at the, in the quantum realm time is non-linear so everything kind of happens simultaneously and is happy everything is happening in the same present moment in the eternal present moment so what i think is happening with deja vu is we're getting an echo of a memory from something that's not happened yet in our perception but it has happened or, or it is happening in the eternal present moment so, so by having this kind of and i'm not able to control this at least not yet i wish i could it's completely random deja vu is completely random for me but that's how i think it works i also don't think with things like deja vu and these echoes of the of the of these memories that we have i don't think we need to know how they work i don't really th believe personally that it's as important as it seems it's certainly interesting right it's definitely interesting when it happens to you and i'm sure most people i would say most people actually have had an experience of deja vu you know it's fairly common at least most of the people i've spoken to they all they've all had an experience of deja vu maybe one, one once or twice some more than others i don't know exactly why it happens but i don't think it's super important that we need to know i just think it's an like a kind of a hint a, a glimpse into reality a, a kind of a clue that reality does not work the way that we think it does i think time specifically is it works vastly different to how we think it works and i think that through different techniques and methods we are able to kind of change this more more you know have more control and influence over this and over the reality that we manifest that we create now that i do know a lot about the idea of creating or manifesting a reality based on your intentions and conscious focus that i can go on to, into detail about but that's and i do talk about that in other videos i do actually have a program called the superhuman program which is soon to be renamed but the, pr the premise is the same and that's going to show you how how to manifest abundance in your life so if you are interested in that there's going to be some kind of free training i'll put the link in the description uh, but check that out and then in terms of timelines so this is a really interesting thing there's a guy called john mccaff or something like that mccaffey he is dead now but when he was alive he gave this interview with this guy and supposedly what happened is he had like a, a six shooter a revolver this guy john right and he, he would spin the chamber and keep pulling the trigger like you know like russian roulette that kind of stuff he would pull the trigger and each time the reporter would say like try and would be kind of freaked out and say like what are you doing doing you know what you're doing and uh and john would say well you simply don't understand the way that reality works 
because what actually happens is it's to do with quantum immortality right the idea that in every moment there are different timelines in which different things happen so in some timelines there's a situation where he pulled the trigger and it did kill him but in this timeline the, the one that the interview was happening in it would always be beyond the horizon so that those events would have already happened and his consciousness would have collapsed into the nearest possible timeline which was the one where it didn't happen i'm probably explaining this really badly but and i don't know specifically if that interview is actually real it's just what i've heard from uh, various podcast interviews that reference it it's quite well spoken about so it sounds real but even if it's not it's a very interesting concept the idea of quantum immortality that our consciousness is immortal and our point of awareness so the point where we're focusing it is what we consider to be reality but actually our consciousness is infinite so we we exist in these infinite different timelines and this is where the idea of the multiverse comes from the idea that we have there are these multiple infinite timelines and each one contains an echo or a, a copy of our consciousness copy is a bad word because copy implies that there's an original and that the copy is kind of like a bad duplicate version of it what i think would re be more accurate would be to say that there's probably infinite versions of our consciousness each one thinking that it's the real one but in reality they're all as real as each other having different experiences anyway let me know what you think in the comments and check out if you want to learn more about manifestation creating wealth and abundance and manifesting the life that you want you know like your dream life basically then i do have a program a free training about that you can check the link in the description i'll see you next time